Grade 8 math number 11.2c, we're going to talk very quickly about chain of reasoning that we mentioned in the previous video, 11.2b. A chain of reasoning is a connected line of information that leads to a conclusion. It's a process of thinking, using previous information to reach another level. And the process can have many levels, each previous level taking us to the next level until we have a conclusion. And that's what we've been doing for the last few videos. We've been proving things. And in a proof, we need to use definitions, which are formal meanings, you know what they are, and axioms. They're a statement that everyone believes is true without proof because it's so obvious. And a theorem, that's a statement that's been proved by a chain of reasoning. And that's what we're doing now. We're talking about chain of reasoning. And postulates. It's a true statement that doesn't need to be proved, and theorems and axioms come from postulates, okay? So we need those things. So let's take a look at a chain. Here we've got a bunch of ovals linked together like a chain, and here's our chain of reasoning. Two is an even number, four is an even number, six is an even number, two plus four is six. So our conclusion, the sum of even numbers will be an even number. That's actually true. Did you know that? Well, that's our chain of reasoning. We started with some ideas and we got to each different level and came up with a conclusion. See that? How about this one? Bob wears shoes. Bob has big feet. So Bob's shoes are big. That's our conclusion. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? But be very careful because we need proof, definitions, axioms, theorems, postulates for each part of the chain of reasoning. Take a look. All apples are fruit. Apples are red, so the conclusion is that all fruit is red. Hmm, the orange, the banana, and the grapes are not going to agree with that, okay? Because it doesn't make sense. An apple wouldn't have any trouble with that, and a tomato wouldn't either. Did you know a tomato is a fruit? But that's not true, is it? So if we have proof along the way, we know we'll come up with a true conclusion, all right? Our conclusion will be correct. So it's very important when you're doing a chain of reasoning and you're doing a proof that you use little things along the way, like definitions, axioms, theorems, and postulates, to make sure our conclusion is going to come out all right, all right? Don't forget you can follow Joanne School on Twitter, and don't forget you can support my channel through fan funding or by going on to patreon.com and becoming a monthly patron, all right? I'll see you next video. Keep trying. Bye.